How does the depth on this team compare to you to, you know, what it has been? Um, we got a lot of guys who know how to play basketball. Um, we had a really good team last year, mixing our bets with um, some new guys. Uh, we got a little bit of a different team, but being able just to trust everybody, go out there, make the right plays um, from the top of the lineup to the bottom uh, is huge. Jordan, how would you assess this team's depth of guard compared to last year? Um, I mean, got Dante, and then Moses has been playing really well. Um, still, obviously, having Steph and Clay uh, in the backcourt. I mean, I feel like we got depth. I mean, we we're learning, and uh, we got a couple guys from the team last year, so just find a ways to get better. Last season, you started as a starter when Clay was still working his way back, and with other various injuries, you were in and out. But now you are the clear anchor of that second unit. Are you excited for that role? How just how do you feel about being that anchor, that bridge between starters and, and bench? I'm just happy to be out there playing. And be honest, um, wherever I'm needed, whether it's the first unit, second unit, uh, being a bridge, closing quarters, closing games. Now, as long as I'm out there impacting the game. Um, that really matters. Jordan, can you uh, share with us what was, what was on your mind when you got that ring tonight? Um, I was just really excited just to kind of see it, um, be a part of something so special, something so historic. Um, it was an amazing ring, a beautiful ring. So everybody who worked so hard on that, credit to them. Um, and it was just a really dope opportunity. Obviously, you guys are known for your guys' third quarter flurries. What do you think kind of led to that tonight and the difference from the first half to the second half? Uh, just kind of figuring it out, slowing the game down a little bit, um, getting our legs under us, um, getting our chemistry a little bit. Um, you know, we take the first half to kind of see how they're guarding us, um, you know, and it's really hard to kind of chase us and, you know, play our read and react game all game long. So the third quarter is where we normally try to um, make a run kind of stretch out the game, open it up a little bit, but just looking for our shots, um, trying to make the right place, be efficient, be aggressive. And then Andrew made four three-pointers, had some step-back three-pointers as well. What have you seen from him as far as his evolution as a, th a three-point shooter? Uh, Wiggs is in, in the lab all summer, all summer working on the shots that you saw tonight. So um, he'll have a really big year, and um, it just makes him even more of a threat to be able to see him uh, create shots on the perimeter and, um, knock it down how he did tonight. Jordan, 10 days ago, Draymond, when he apologized, he said that there would be an elephant in the room tonight. Um, I'm just wondering, did it, anything feel awkward or do you feel like healing has, has happened? Yeah, I mean, we went out there. We had a, a job to do tonight to win a game. Um, it was a ring night and that's really what we were focused on to finish in the first game. It was a huge win uh, against a really good team. And the season started, so we got a game in a couple of days. You and, you and Wiseman had a couple nice pick and roll uh, action there. Uh, how is that working? How is that chemistry with, with James going? How does it feel to get a couple of those uh, in, in this game? Uh, feels good. Um, daily process, you know, just being able just to kind of find the chemistry and find the ways that we can really be um, aggressive in that pick and roll and, um, you know, trying to get our timing right. Um, Screens, angles, plays, hitting the pocket, trying to see where he likes the ball. So, I mean, it'll take a little bit of time to get adjusted to it, but uh, he's doing an amazing job. I and mean, we watch a lot of film, so um, it's going to be really exciting to see us doing the pick and roll. Jordan, uh, back here, as great a shooter as Steph is, what do what you learn from watching him when his shot's not dropping? I mean, he missed his first five threes tonight, and you look up at halftime, he's still got 16, five, and four, and, and kind of finding ways to get to the line. I'm curious, as a kind of similar player, what what you gain from watching him play in those situations? Uh, just be aggressive at all times of the game. Um, the shots that you normally take, the shots that you practice, the shots that are open, you take those. If you made five or you miss five, just continue to be aggressive. I mean, it was it's what makes our team special. Um, you know, they have to guard so much. So, Steph being able to be aggressive, myself, Clay, other guys on this team just Never lose the confidence and then keep hooping and um, they'll eventually drop.
there was a play Steph made in the third quarter where he sprint the length of the floor, popped out to the wing on the right side, set his feet, let it go, knocked it down. As a shooter yourself, how hard it was like the degree of difficulty on that shot? Um, it's definitely something you have to practice. Uh, countless hours going to it. I mean, but after you um, do so many reps and, you know, has so much repetition on one shot, it starts to feel like a, a normal shot, game shot. Um, I've seen him do it so many times and we practice it so many times. Um, him obviously longer because he's been in the league longer. So um, for him, it just looks like a normal shot, but the, the degree of difficulty is up there. But, you know, obviously you just got to practice that. Hey, Jordan, uh, it looks like you and Juan had some fun in that loose ball. I mean, you, you guys had the jump ball. What was that like to compete against him? And just how, how would you describe your relationship with him in general? Yeah, um, it was good to see Juan today. We just, we've been so competitive since day one. Um, that's my brother. So just being able just to, you know, go back to our practice days, the days that we had, you know, open gym. Um, he's a scrappy player. And, you know, he goes 100% all the time. And uh, and I know that. So just diving on a loose ball. And I knew he wouldn't let the ball go. He had a better grip on the ball than I did, though. So uh, it was just really cool to kind of be in that moment, kind of, you know, it was a little bit nostalgic. So um, I'm going to try to win a jump ball next time. Hi, Jordan. Uh, with the score you are, how much pride do you also take in, in a night like tonight where you had points and you also dished out seven assists and made things happen? I mean, are those the games that you appreciate a lot? Yeah, yeah. Um, just doing my job, being a primary ball handler, um, I know that I'll get a lot of attention as a scorer out there on the court. So just trying to get my teammates and my guys in easy situations to score the ball, get them going early. Um, I know I can be aggressive all night. I know how to find my shots. So uh, just trying to get the others acclimated, you know, to the system, um, give them the confidence to, you know, shoot shots, be themselves, especially some of our new players or guys that are playing with us, um, you know, for the first time, you know, just kind of build their confidence, build the chemistry. You know, we'll need them all season. And, um, you know, my job out here is to play make as, as well as scoring, give my teammates easy shots and try to put them in easy uh, situations. So it's probably something that I'll be doing all year, um, but still trying to find ways to, be aggressive and scoring a ball. You kind of mentioned that. How much more control and freedom do you feel like you have in this offense than you did last regular season, mostly because of what you did in the playoffs? Um, I mean, the coaches have kind of given me, coaches and stuff have kind of given me the free reign to kind of just play. Um, whether that's being extremely aggressive offensively, getting up shots, um, or just trying to get in the paint, make a play, whether it's a, you know, a shot, whether it's a driving kick, um, you know, they got a lot of faith in me to to make the right decisions, you know, make make a, my teammates in really good situations. So, I mean, it just comes with it. Um, it's a really good challenge, really good task to be able to uh, to be a part of, and I'm excited. Jordan, Steph is like 11 years older than you. Bron is like 15 years older than you. What's it like for you seeing old heads like that go at each other and, and play as well as they've been playing? It's really fun to be a part of, really fun to watch. You know, these guys have um, been on the top of the league for so long. And these are historic players. So um, just seeing them be as dominant as, as they are um, with the years that they've put in, you know, it just shows you how much knowledge they have of the game, how many reps they've seen. Um, and these guys have played at the highest level over and over and over again. So just being able to be on the court with them and, you know, watch the greatness that they put on as well as learning and asking questions is um, special. You mentioned, uh, you mentioned that it's going to take some time to build chemistry in the pick and roll with Wiseman. Um, how would you compare him and Draymond as pick and roll partners, both in terms of your comfortability playing with them and, and their styles? Um, still trying to find ways to get James to set the right angles on the screen. Um, he's a really big target. He's a lob threat. You know, we're just trying to find ways to have him hit the body. Draymond is obviously one of the best trainers in the game that we have, um, as well as Loon. So just trying to find ways to, you know, get our rhythm right, uh, get our cadence right, you know, with the screens, with the slips, with the dives. You know, he's a lob threat. I haven't really had a lob threat um, these last couple of years. So I'm still trying to find ways to where he can catch the ball, where he likes it, whether it's in the midi pull-up, whether it's 
um, a lob on the backside. So uh, he's really talented, you know, and he works hard. So it only take a, a matter of time before we, we really start to uh, dominate that two-man game.